Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get started. Ladies and gentlemen, George Widom. everybody, this is George Widom reporting from Widom's World. This week's question comes in from Tom J. Dolan. Just prior to leaving Sherman Oaks for Tokyo two years ago, my Mbox Mini had a coronary. We were about 10 days from the shipping company pickup and I panicked as I didn't want to have to go shopping here for a replacement. I ran over to Guitar Center on Ventura and I bought a Focusrite Sapphire 6, brought it home, plugged it in, tested it with Twisted Wave, it worked, I repacked it, put it in a shipping carton and didn't see it again for about 10 weeks. Fast forward, occasionally get a request for a test line read and I submit online. So I'm sitting here last week looking at my equipment and wondering is all this stuff I bought in 2009, except for the Focusrite, got to be getting kind of old, no? How do I know if my audio is what it used to be? Is there any natural audio degradation with my mic, speakers, headphones? Could it be changing over ever so slowly that I wouldn't notice? When is it time to think about replacement of home studio equipment? Modern audio equipment, and when I say modern, I mean stuff made in the last 20 years or so, um has been optimized to the point where it doesn't really degrade at least the solid state componentry, which are the circuits inside the box. They don't really degrade much in a detectable way um, over time. Um, It used to be older audio equipment, um, you know, maybe pre-90s, 80s, 70s, things like that, definitely had issues because they use what are called electrolytic capacitors. And electrolytic capacitors have electrolytic fluid in them, which actually dries out over time, over the course of many years. What happens with equipment with electrolytic capacitors is the signal can start to get a little bit noisy, and just the signal, the noise floor in general, gets worse and worse. Um, If it's a mic preamp, the gain might get less and less, things like that. And certainly if the equipment has tubes in it, tubes are not solid state, they are, you know, mechanical devices inside um, electromechanical devices, and they do um, degrade over time and can be damaged in shipment really easily. So certainly they are uh, an exception to the rule. But any modern IC-based equipment, which are integrated circuits, gear that has mostly small chips inside, should last for many, many years without any issues. If it's been cared for properly, stored properly, um, you know, kept in a decent temperature range. Really, there should be no reason to have to replace anything for quite a while. Um, microphones, of course, are probably the most sensitive to changes in temperature and humidity. So again, if they could possibly over time start to change their tunnel characteristics, you know, they can gain uh, a layer of dirt on the capsule. You know, keep in mind that that little thin piece of metal or mylar inside there is a couple of microns thick, very, very thin. And so a coating of dust or dirt on that capsule will technically change the sound of that capsule over the years, generally making it sound a little bit more dull, not quite as bright as it was when it was new. If that's a concern for you, you can have your microphones professionally cleaned. Usually the manufacturer will have a a rep that will do that for you or a dealer or repair service that is authorized to do that kind of repair. And then there's third-party companies that do microphone repair that can um, help you with that as well. So really, it's not going to change that much. It probably isn't something you would detect unless you recorded something today and recorded something six years ago or four years ago in 2009 and then A-B'd the two and, you know, compare the rec- two recordings. And then there's a possibility you could hear a difference, but I tend to think that you probably will not hear the difference between the two. Um, and, you know, as long as all the gear has been maintained and it's in good condition, um, you're not going to have any trouble. Buttons, switches, pots, knobs, you know, if they get used heavily, of course, they're going to wear out faster. Speakers, as long as they don't rot out and dry rot in the surrounds that surround this driver, the woofer cone, that bit of rubber, as long as that's intact and not dry rotted and cracked, um, they should work great for, for many, many years. Um, and headphones should last many years too, if they don't get funky and degrade first, like <laughs> some of my favorite pairs up here. This is just from pure 
heavy duty use wearing out over time and just pure abuse. This is what this is what these headphones look like after about 10 years of straight use. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful and anybody out there who's got older equipment, don't worry. But if you are concerned that the audio quality that you're getting from that old gear is possibly not where it used to be, send it over to me. Uh, go over to vostudiotech.com, click on the sound check link and send in a file. And I'd be glad to take a listen and tell you if the audio you're recording is up to par or if something in the equipment needs to be replaced. And if you've got questions that you'd like to submit for future episodes of Widom's World, send them on in to widomsworld at edgestudio.com and I'll get to it in a future episode. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next week.